This show is sponsored by BetterHelp Therapy Online. You don't have to have life all figured out. You just have to show up every day. Talking with a therapist helps you feel more confident while you're navigating, figuring out who you are. Visit betterhelp.com slash outside and take care of you because, well, you deserve it. Hello. Welcome to Podcast Foot Outside, episode 161. We recorded this in front of a nail salon with our friend Pete Holmes. We're being real quiet right now because it's too late it's and we nighttime. don't want to wake the neighbors. It's almost midnight. Pete Holmes, fantastic comedian, TV show maker, podcaster. He's got a podcast. You made it weird with Pete Holmes. He's on tour right now. Go check out his live show. He is a truly fantastic comedian. As you'll see in this episode, go watch him live. He's coming to your city. There's the poster. Perhaps the most perfect planned guest just for our show. Yeah, He's he good at interviewing He people. did a great job. Thank you, Pete. We had to cancel our tour, so sorry, or postpone it. If you follow us online, you saw that. Saw that. Sorry uh, for, to those of you who bought tickets. You made the right choice, but then it actually didn't work out for you, did it? Mm. Um, I was sick. I was really going through some very awful health stuff. I'm getting better, slowly. Um, we made the right call in, in postponing the tour. We couldn't have traveled with how I was feeling. I'm getting better. Thank you for, uh, to Cole for fixing me. He's a doctor now. I made him study medicine to become a doctor to, to figure out how to fix me because no one else could. Lab coat. Yeah, it was really nice of you. We're keeping it vague here, but if you want, I guess if you want to know more about it, we get no. I mean, we dive just, into it more. If you're curious, it's just, just it's yeah, just personal. Not, we talked about it on my Patreon, but it's just you know my. I mean, I'm fine. I'm doing fine. I will survive. It's just been pretty annoying. Anyway, but I'll be better eventually. And uh, if you bought tickets to those shows, the venues will be contacting you soon about the rescheduled dates. We'll post about them on Instagram and Twitter. They haven't confirmed it yet, but it'll probably be around like February, March, April of next year. We're gonna redo those dates. If you can't make the, the new dates, you will be able to get a refund. But if you can make it, we will be there and we'd love to see you. Speaking of seeing you, we also have a show in LA next Thursday. That show is on Thursday, October 13th, 13th. at the Bourbon Room in Hollywood. We've best got place for a live show. It's, the best, it's our best location ever. It's on Hollywood Boulevard. The last show we did there was so, so fun. This show's gonna be awesome. We have a friend joining us, Ted Nivison. <laughs> Past guest of the show, Past. big old YouTuber guy, yeah, comedian he, boy. He was in front of the post office with us, but now he's going to come inside to the bourbon room with us. We are so excited to have him on the live show. So come watch us and Ted and a bunch of strangers on October 13th. And then if you live in Hawaii, come see us there. November 3rd in Honolulu, we have a show. If you know anyone in Hawaii, tell them to come to that show. Uh, we got to sell some tickets for that show. <laughs> Straight up. Stand-up wise, I am doing a headlining show in San Diego on Wednesday, October 26th at the Whistle Stop Bar. Tickets are $10. It's an extremely cheap show. And then I'm also gonna be in Tokyo, Japan. I'm gonna go on vacation there after our show in Hawaii. And I'm doing a headlining stand-up show on November 12th. It's a small venue, like 60 seats. So if you live in Tokyo, buy a ticket now. Uh, AndrewMichon.com for all those tickets or my Instagram. Music this week. It's by Gus Pue, AKA Thumbnuts. Maybe we've used this before, maybe we haven't. We can't remember. Either way, it's a wild song and we're happy to have it. Bark, bark. Bark, bark, enjoy the episode. All right. Oh no. Here we go. Hello. No, hello. no, 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 don't no, film no, him, film no. us. Hey. hey, how's it going? Hello and welcome to Podcast, podcast but outside. outside. This is the world's first podcast. My name is Andrew Michon. My name is Michael Crouton. Oh, beautiful. If you never heard or watched a show before, the whole point of the show is for me and Michael Crouton to set up this table on the sidewalk and interview strangers who happen to be walking by. We have a sign on our table that says, Hi, be a guest on our podcast. We will pay you one dollar. Smiley face. You say it with me. Smiley, Smiley face. face. We're the only ethical podcast, the only podcast that pays its guests. And the only podcast I think that does it outside and talks to strangers, um, and the only podcast I have is this guy on it. Hey, how are you? What's up? You want to say hi? No. All right. Hey. Cool he, shirt. Cool shirt, though. Can I wear it? He didn't want to say hi, which is actually fair. But you know what? There's actually someone who is guaranteed to say hi, and it's a friend of ours. It's an invited friend. He's coming out right now. Get him. Get him, Kim. It's our friend Pete Holmes. Pete, 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 Pete. Have a seat. Which rhymes with Pete, actually, if you think about it. Hey, how are you? Great to see you. This is Cole. This is Pete. Hi, Pete. Hello. Good to meet you. Is it Colbert? 
It can be, yeah, man. I like that. Don't give me it can be. My name can be Colbert if I want. That's to true. Be. Anyone's yeah. Is it Colbert? <laughs> I no. Answer the question. No. Is I'm that kidding. a real? Is that a real name? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't even yeah, know that. Stephen Colbert. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> And I instantly love you. Oh, okay. Well done. I love you. It's a podcast, but it's outside, I understand. Yes, yes. yes. So um, the conceit of the show is that we... Don't tell me the conceit. Is that it's hot, <laughs> is that it's hot out. And we interview strangers. We just um, talk to random people that will sit down. So. Oh, okay. So hopefully... That's too close to no, me. No, I know. That's, that'll be where they, they will sit. <laughs> I, I just move it over. Yeah, you, <laughs> they can be over there. Uh, no, wonderful. Can I tell you that this... Uh, I love Tender Greens. Me too, yeah. yeah. I'm not being paid to say that. No. Although I could go in and insist that they pay me. Yeah. Just, yeah. That, just say, hey, I just said good things. I just said me and Colbert and, and Andrew <laughs> Mitchell uh, yeah. want uh, cash money. Yeah. But um, now I love Tender Greens even more because I went in and asked for the bathroom. No promise of uh, right. buying anything. All right. All right. I, I thought about saying... I, I will <laughs> buy because I will at some point when we're done here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going in. Okay, Whoa. great. When I when we're done, I'm going in. I well, you know, know their main but, uh, thing is it, like it's like tender greens, piss and shit for free. That's their. Slogan. Hey, how are you? Yeah. You want to say hi? Hi. We'd love to talk to strangers. You have a great outfit. You do have a great if outfit. If you have to use the bathroom, it's free in there. Colbert sounds <laughs> desperate. That tone. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, too much. That was too you much. You pitched up too high. Okay. I, I don't know if you were bullied. Was, were you bullied? Of course. Yeah, that was your bully me tone. Okay. So it wasn't even right. The bully's fault. <laughs> <laughs> it was your tone. It was his fault. <gasps> Look at this baby. Whoa. Hello. Hey, a, how are you? We're nice people. We're just doing a podcast. You're welcome to say hello. I mean, uh, I'd do the same. That guy's on zero hours of sleep. How much is that stroller? That looks expensive. That's a good one. Colbert with the eye. Yeah. Colbert looking like schoolboy Q, by the way. <laughs> oh, stop it. You're like schoolboy W. Whoa. <laughs> Pete, Pete Holmes, famously a father. So you kind of, you know a little bit about that stroller and the lifestyle. I do. And we're here uh, coming in hot. My wife is with me. My dog was in the back seat. We just parked around the corner. But your wife is here? She has to take the dog to the vet. He's oh, on. No. He's currently on fire. Oh. We didn't know. <laughs> Just kidding. He's not on fire. Um, but he did have diarrhea all up in the house. So uh -oh. internally, he is on fire. He is. He's on fire in sort of like a yeah. bad meal way. Mm. You gave him Indian food last night. We gave him a lot <laughs> of uh, Indian food, but American, oh, American, like American right. Indian. Okay, American Indian. I've actually heard Native Americans. Some actually prefer to be called Indians oh. because Native Americans. Uh, I was born in America, so I am a Native American. Right. You know what I mean? Hey. Yeah. Hello. Hey, how are you? We're a friendly group of people doing a podcast. You can just tell us. Oh, it's okay. We don't want cash money. People so, think you want cash money. Yeah. So what I love about doing this show is that, like, we've had, you know, you're a well-known comedian, actor, Not writer. Not that well-known. Well, that's what I love. Is <laughs> I love having people who are, like, really famous and have them be the ones asking for people's Hello. attention. Hey, how are you? It's a podcast. You want to be on a podcast? You could be on for 10 seconds. Oh, what you, actually you sit can, over there. Sit over there. That would can, be better. Oh, sorry. That, that, I thought this was your seat. No, no. It's you okay. can promote Collecticon. <laughs> What's yeah. Collecticon? Collecticon? It's on your shirt, my friend. Yes, actually. I did a teardown for one of their events, funnily enough. You did what? I actually uh, did a setup and teardown for one of their events. Oh, okay. You're, it's you're a collectible card game event. Oh. Digimon, any collectible you can imagine, anime culture is there, everything. Well, that's, okay. That's what the well, any you, is. Do you do carpentry? No, no. I was just, it was just a gig I did of uh, setting up and tearing down. The, like a PA gig, basically. Yeah. Basically. Mm, What's right. your name? Uh, Martin. 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 Hi, Martin. Where are you nice going right you. now, Martin? Uh, home. Get uh, something for my wife from Porto's down the street and then I don't. Oh, he Ooh, got a wife. He got a wife. Are you going to know those, uh, what are they? The, the Potato balls? balls? Potato balls. Not my thing. No, Not your like, thing. Not into it. Start. No, I'm into the, the apple strudels amazing. Okay. Oh, okay. The sweets. Vela, vela, goo. You're something uh, else unhealthy for you, but I, I like <laughs> that you're not too proud to eat something bad for you. Yeah. Life yeah. is short, man. Martin. Uh, yeah. How'd you bag the wife? Yeah, good question. How'd you Thanks. bag the <laughs> wife? How'd I bag the wife? Yeah, how'd you get someone yeah. to marry you? What a rude question. God this is good. That's yeah, God is good, good all the time. Cole. All the time, God okay. is good. That's, That's it. right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, uh, how long have you been married? Two years in November. Two years in November? Okay, so kind of newlyweds. Were you yeah. together for a long time before that? We dated for 10 months. 10 Whoa. months, okay. And dur all during the pandemic, it seems, no? Yep. You so got that a pan wife. Wow. Whoa. Yes. Did you meet like right before the pandemic, kind of? I met in 2019. Okay. I lived in um, 
here in Los Angeles by myself for like a year. We, we weren't dating then. Yeah. We were just talking as friends. I moved back during the pandemic in March 2020. Uh, to where? To Minnesota. That's okay. where I lived originally. Okay. Martin, you could do a great Chris Rock impression. I'm just dialing in on who you sound like. Mm. You sound like conversational Chris Rock. Really? Like his regular, yeah, there it was. Oh, there was. <laughs> just a speaking voice, not his stage voice. Oh, I was right. like, right. but like this, you're, you sound like chill rock. Chill rock. Chill I'm gonna rock. call you chill rock. Cool. Keep going. I know. I know. Cool. And if you put a little bit of, you close off your nose a little bit, you'd sound more like you'd him. Get there. I'd have to practice my. Yeah, you uh, could do that later. Cool. Tell, right, keep thanks. telling us your story. <laughs> uh, and so 2020, um, we keep talking. I was really on the fence about dating her. I was like, eh. A couple That's things cool. to wrestle with in my mind, <laughs> but uh, why were you on the fence? I was, you know, a bunch of internal stuff, fear of this, fear of that. Oh, it was more Martin wrong stuff. person. It yeah, was Martin, Martin stuff. stuff Martin really. stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Were you like afraid that she seemed too good or something? No, uh, just the wrong person. I don't oh. want to get mess. Uh, get yeah, the, you get don't want to mess up her life and, and your work. life. Yes. Interesting. It's good for you. Because I don't date just to date. It's not. A, it's a serious. Oh, thing. you. Oh, mm. yeah. Wow. He's in it to win it. Yeah. You kind of to bag it. You, you Again, can. you're too dirty. <laughs> too dirty. Okay. I'm not dragging. Uh, no, we I, got Cole and Martin, I by the way. Anyone appreciating that it's Cole? And, his name is Cole. Oh, yeah. Cole so Cole and Martin. Martin. You're too young. The show Martin. His best friend was named oh, Cole. Martin, Martin Lawrence. Okay. Martin. Okay. Okay. Damn, yeah. Gina. That sort of thing. So you approach at any dating with someone is like, is this the right person well, for you're me long term? You believe in the Lord. Jesus, yeah. yeah oh, so he, that's part he's of He's a follower of, of Christ. Uh. So he's not just looking right. to... Yeah, bag and tag. As yeah, you would say. This, everything yeah. in this life is important. This isn't just, we're not just, this it's isn't not a accident. dress rehearsal. You know what I mean? It's not an accident. Wow. That everything here is, is purposeful. So you're looking for your so partner. I'm, yeah, for life. The yeah. right okay. one. Yes. Looking for those signs. So what yeah. pointed you in the direction that this might be the right one? I was like, I had to work through some things in here. Fear of, I didn't want to, I hate to divorce the idea of that. Um, Are your parents together? No. See? Right. You're trying to fix. So. You're trying to break a chain. Break the chain. There's nothing wrong with your parents. Yeah. Most people oh, no. get divorced. No, no, no. But you Happens. want. You saw what that can do, and you don't want to do that. So I wanted to cut it off. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there you go. And so it's been working. God is good, man. That's it. So. All the time. All the time. Yeah. You guys are supposed to say all the time. All the time. time. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what your deal is. All the time. All the time. Not just this any one. time. Oh, all I thought time. he all says the time. All, when he says God is good, you say all the time. All the time. Oh. Yeah. And if I yeah. say peace be with you. All the time. Martin. And also with you. And also with you. Oh. The Catholic oh. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's Catholic. So, Why they, but different. Yeah. different no, I got you. No, uh, okay. so I, then, I was raised Jewish. Is that okay? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. I love everybody, man. It's, there no, you go. Okay. You can tell that from Martin right away. Yeah. Ten months later, you get married. Yeah. Fast. I don't waste my time. I'm not. What's the? Wow. What's the? What's the? Get in. Yeah. Were that's you both? Were you both the, fully in, or were there any point where they were both too fully scary? in? And now she's addicted to Portos. Yes. Yes. Wow. <laughs> we lived in. We actually moved here in Glendale like two days ago. Whoa. No way. Welcome yeah. to the neighborhood. Thank yeah. you. And you got Thank yourself you. a Portos. Yeah. Do you like her parents? I, they're in Nigeria. She's Nigerian. from Nigeria. So I have yet to meet. I met them over Zoom. Oh my goodness! You're, you're like they're from Nigeria. So no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm not I, about I, it. I'm not, not about, not about, about it. it. I've talked to them over Zoom. They're great. They're they're mm, funny. Wow. They're, okay. And so, but I have to meet them in person. We're gonna go there at some point. So what she, do they speak in Nigeria? Sorry. Um, no, it's okay. Well, there's a bunch of different. Yeah, I'm sure. Igara is, Igara. is the main. Does she language. speak Igara? Yeah, she speaks Igara. I'm learning okay. little bits and pieces. Okay. So she was a Nigerian who found herself in Minnesota. How did that happen? She, uh, for school. Oh, cool. And what does she do? She's graduating this year with a master's in marriage and family therapy. She wants yeah. to be a psychologist. Oh, oh beautiful. So That's she's great. Like, she's nailing your marriage. She's like awesome at it. Yeah. She's, she's like amazing. studying yeah. it and stuff. Wow. Yeah. You I'm guys can go in front. You're good. It's all right. You're all right. It's part of it. It's all so, good. It's all part yeah. of it. Well, yeah. that's great, man. Do you want to have children? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Like next year. Go. Next year. Okay. Yeah. See, he's really not messing around. No, oh, he's really got it dialed in. And she loves the Lord? Oh, yeah. Okay. All the time. Oh, yeah. All the no, not <laughs> yeah. yet. Not yet. <laughs> not, not exactly, yet. but yes, yet. all the time. Yeah. Not yet. Well, and, and what do you do for work? Um, I'm trying to get my way into entertainment. Okay. Mm. All right. Well, oh, what's like you. your ideal thing to do in entertainment? 
TV show I'm writing get that picked up by Netflix or some streaming service Whoa. while doing acting and voiceover and writing script doctoring as Ooh. well those are like my things All right. okay. I love good story that's the whole thing four words make me feel I something I love a good story that's my whole that was thing your Chris make Rock me right feel there. something I love a good story <laughs> that was it I gotta work you on got, my Chris you, Rock you, at this you're point. this <laughs> close to okay. just doing it can you, right. so can that you, could add that to your repertoire can you tease us a little of what the show is it's called Focus be on okay. the lookout for the show called Focus wow Existential superhero dramedy. Think Rick and Morty X, Teen Titans, or Young Justice. Okay. Something, okay. Lo- something along those lines. It's funny, action-packed. It makes you think. Makes you cry. Wow. Is this um, animated? Yes, animated. In Mine. the stories you write, in the characters you write, do you have the characters believe in the Lord? Not necessarily. No. Okay. No. I mean, there that's the go. thing. Okay. Of, no. Honestly, Rock. if you want to share, I was just talking to my wife about this. If you want to share something like from your heart driving right at it is not usually the best route no mm. we were no, just you talking don't wanna, about no. like you don't have them mm. talking how you like talk and christiany yeah like that stuff will turn people off that's so right. corny we're the same uh, that's, mm. i'm like nah we, we gotta make it real because mm. not, right. not everyone believes right. that not, you, that's fine and you, you close know, it off to a lot of people mm-hmm. right but it's it everybody's interested in in love and peace and forgiveness and right yeah and redemption uh martin mm-hmm. do you have any final thoughts or words of wisdom you want to leave us with be focused be attentive be intentional because mm. life is very short and not a mistake and not a mistake and not a mistake. not here by accident that's right all Did, the time were you in <laughs> were you in relationships earlier in your life that you recognized weren't the right person and you kind of got out pretty quickly or because uh. i think it's interesting I, I date around and I don't think I like I don't think I can know whether someone is like the right fit until I get to know them a bit so it's, I think the yeah. way you handled it was interesting to me That's yeah all. getting getting to know the person just talking to them right mm-hmm. I think who is it? if Nietzsche said that the only your ability to hold a conversation is most important in a relationship because everything else is transitory so be intentional with this life it's short love is everything yeah Everything loving on people is why we are here. Loving All the, the time. Lord loving people. That's it. So. That's it. The cool. rest is details. Yes. That for him. Here's a oh, dollar and a sticker for you, Martin. Bet. Thanks for being a guest, Martin. Bye, buddy. What a good guy. Hey, how are you? Pete's p- peace out. Almost sounds like Pete's out. Pete's yeah. out. That's Pete, what I actually do said. Do you say out. Pete's no, out? No, no. <laughs> it's like Seacrest out. <laughs> yeah, that's your goodbye. Pete's, out. It's, no, out. No, no, no. it's uh It's not a thing. Uh, Hello, we're doing a hey, podcast. We're we, friendly guys. Isn't rejection interesting? I mean, different styles. Yeah. It, really, what you're seeing is like their level of trust yes, in the yeah. universe. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So when I see somebody that doesn't even, uh, this is maybe too heavy, but no, I like. They it. don't even want to look. No, it's interesting. They won't even smile. No, they just kind of pretend. That's that's not. That doesn't make me feel good about the past. That mm-hmm. is true. Like and who hurt you? And, and who who abused? Like who? What what knuckleheads abused your trust? Right. Yeah. They were like, you want to come over? And it's like, it's a bucket of fish. <laughs> Fuck you! You're on a bucket of fish show. Oh, you saw that episode like, of yeah. our show? <laughs> hey, Chad. Yeah. Can we thank our sponsors? I would love to. Bombus. Go. Bombus. Bombus's mission is simple: make the most comfortable clothes ever and match every item sold with an equal item donated. So when you buy Bombus, you are also giving to someone in need. I just gotta be honest. Bombus sent us a bunch of copy. It's got all the information you need to know. Whatever. They're the, the t-shirts are made with thoughtful design features like invisible seams, soft fabrics, and the perfect weights. So they just hang right. Bombus underwear is so breathable and fits so well. It feels like wearing nothing at all in a good way. Blah blah blah. Who cares about all that? Yeah. All that matters is that their stuff is so good <laughs> that I have spent so much money at this company. Me too. I've replaced all of my socks with Bomba socks. I bought a bunch of underwear from there. I've turned friends onto it. It's quality crap. Moshe, it's good. Moshe Kasher, past friend of the show, he, he was talking to me about socks. He says he's very picky about socks. I was like, dude, Bombas sponsored our show. They're by far the best socks. Every sock I wear now is Bombas. All my socks are Bombas. I got rid of all my other socks. They're also just stylish as heck. Yeah, they got really cool patterns. They're super comfortable. They're just, they feel more comfortable than any other sock. They feel good on your feet. They last a long time. I've replaced all my socks with Bombas socks. And I've replaced all my underwear. I'm a big fan of their undies. Yeah, the underwear is great too. Oh, those are cool. I didn't I've know. I've been looking. I, I try to be pantsless as often as possible because they are also stylish. Everything, make is, everything Bombas makes is soft, seamless, tagless, and has a cozy feel. Go to bombas.com slash buttoutside and use code buttoutside for 20% off your first purchase. That's B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash buttoutside and use code buttoutside at checkout. Bombas.com slash buttoutside, code buttoutside. You get 20% off. 
make your wardrobe a little bit better. Get some nice socks, get some nice underwear, some shirts. You get free shipping if you spend a certain amount. You get 20% off. This is easy as pie. Okay, have I got a story for you. Okay. I was recently searching Google. I was searching the phrase, how do you stab Cole Hirsch? Uh Uh-huh. But I was afraid of people knowing that I was searching this. Yeah. So... You're probably thinking, why don't you just use incognito mode? But let me tell you something. Incognito mode does not hide your activity. (gasps) It doesn't matter what mode you use or how many times you clear your browsing history. Your internet service provider can still see every single website you've ever visited. Oh, crud. Including howtostabcolehurst.com, which is a website I actually started to kind of compile all the information that I had already learned from all these other helpful places. And thank you to those of you who provided the sources for that. That's why even when I'm at home, I never go online without ExpressVPN. It doesn't matter who your internet service provider is. ISPs in the U.S. can legally sell your information to ad companies. ExpressVPN is an app that reroutes your internet connection through the secure servers so your ISP can can't see the sites you visit. ExpressVPN also keeps all your information secure by encrypting 100% of your data with the most powerful encryption available most of the time. I don't even realize I have ExpressVPN on. It runs seamlessly in the background and is so easy to use. All you have to do is tap one button and you're protected. ExpressVPN is available on all your devices, phones, computers, even your smart TV. So there's no excuse for you not to be using it. Look, if you need a VPN for any reason, for security, for your privacy, for maybe watching TV shows in other regions that you can't watch here. This is the best way to do it. It's the best VPN product out there. Protect your online activity today with the VPN rated number one by Business Insider. Visit our exclusive link, expressvpn.com outside, outside, and you can get an extra three months free on a one-year package. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash outside. Expressvpn.com slash outside to learn more. You yeah, want to be on? You have Obvious. your coffee. You're all jacked. Five minutes. We could get five. We could get five thirty minutes. seconds. Uh, whatever, whatever you'd you like want. to talk about. Here, just, you can sit here. Just give a. Just. We're talking about the weather. Just give the weather. Us, give us. No, five we don't want to talk about what you're talking about. Here, just give she us a minute me. of your time. What's your name? Okay, well, what are we going to talk about? My name is Laura. Not Laura. the weather, Laura. Not the we weather. It's boring for that. our podcast. So, yeah. who do you prefer, your mom or your dad? Oh, that's crazy. Is this? How are you? What is this? This is. Yeah, your co-worker. Co-worker. we okay. work together. We yeah, work yeah. right here. Okay. Um, so that's a really good question. I was definitely closer to my mom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but my mom passed away when I was fairly young, like oh, in my mid twenties. Okay. And then I learned to create a relationship with my father, hey. who I never had a relationship with, but I had to learn, right? Well, how did you do it? What was the common ground that you built that on? I mean, in the beginning, it was just like, let's go out to eat, let's go huh. to movies, and yeah. then we would have conversations about, like, remember when we were growing up and you did this? Why? <laughs> no mm. kidding. Good for you. <laughs> yeah. You took yeah. the hard look. And did you yeah. get did you get closure on all those questions you no, had? No, you never get closure. But people, you a know, in different generations, they, are, you know, they're raised differently, right? Mm-hmm. Did yeah. sharing the loss of your mom together help you guys get closer? I think so. I think in some ways, like you yeah. know, he was, but that was not his job, right? His job was to work. Her job was to provide. That's how we mm. grew up. Oh. I'm old, so you know. You mean provide love? Yeah, provide. Mm. Her job was to raise the kids, and he was to provide the income, right? So yeah. he wasn't. That's why we didn't have the relationship. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah that that's my life in a nutshell. Is that is that a good minute? Here, I have one question for yeah, you. Yeah. Okay. What is your yeah. ratio of dumping a person and being dumped? <laughs> <laughs> like, do you get dumped more or do you dump more <laughs> in relationships when they end? Are you ending it or are they ending oh, it? I don't. Ooh, sure. that's a good one. Yeah, I got good questions. You do. I feel like I've been dumped. More dumped? In the past, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Fortunately. But I don't that's, know. That's Maybe the way that of life. It's rejection. I actually don't know. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, <laughs> that's true. That's the way of life. But if you're being dumped, that maybe speaks to your openness and, mm. and your hopefulness and yeah. your... And your, and your Optimism. That's yeah. a positive that's beautiful. That's a positive. So we have fearful have people nice dumping you. Who are these idiots? Name I mean, some of them. You gotta Fuck be optimistic you. in life. Yes. It's fine. Yes. No hate on everyone. That's right. That's, it's it's what do you guys have yeah. a podcast outside for? Yeah. Um to talk to strangers because otherwise we'd never meet you. TikTok, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> he said to talk to oh, strangers, but you oh, hear no, what you, you hear no, what no. you want to hear. No, to talk to strangers, because oh, okay. if we were yeah. inside in the studio, we would never meet you guys. That's true. And we'll probably never talk again. Right. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that wild? Yeah. That's why I love what you shared. That was a vulnerable thing you both yeah. shared. Yeah. And here you are being held, received. <laughs> Enjoy yeah. your drinks. Yeah. And That's here's right. a dollar and a sticker for each of you. It's, it's our a dollar info. and a sticker. <laughs> yeah. See you guys. Bye, ladies. Bye. Goodbye. Enjoy. Enjoy your Next coffee time, drink. if you get dumped, remember, it means you're loving. <laughs> That's a good sign. 
You don't want to be a lunatic that's like, I'm always ending it. I do like that you went multiple directions there, though, where she she said the word optimism as you go, who are the guys? Fuck you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you were trying I to was ready on. to be like, let's name them. <laughs> you were trying to go in that direction. Let's name these dumb dumbs. <laughs> and she was going the total opposite. Yeah. This guy wants to talk. Yeah. Hey, how are hey, you? Hey, what's happening? Come have a seat. This is a random podcast. Be on a podcast yeah, for 30 I'm seconds. Podcast yeah, I'm a He's podcast, a podcast guy. guy. But actually, and and this is their podcast. We're also podcast guys. Yeah. And, now, and now guess what? You're a podcast guy. You're a podcast guy. What's your name? Uh, my name's Alfredo. 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 Are you de donde eres, Alfredo? Mexico? Uh, yes. Que bueno. Oh. Vamos uh. a hablar en español solamente. Este gringo son uh, muy estúpido. Hey. Ay, hablas español okay. mejor de lo que pensé. No sabía que tú hablabas español. Ay. Ay. <laughs> I, that was, I got like 50% of that. And you loved it. And I loved it. <laughs> and I just wanted to hear you do what you can do, Alfredo. That was awesome. Are what you, are you up to? What's going on? Uh, well, right now I'm on my way to work. Where? Mm. Uh, it's a comic book shop that's like right around the corner over here. Oh, I comics. know that. He played Magic the Gathering there two nights ago. Oh, oh I believe I that. Oh, no. Oh, I, I gotcha. nice. Whoa. I don't know anything about Magic, uh, but this I keeps do work coming there. Up. Magic keeps coming up. Yeah. One of the guys we talked to mentioned Magic. Yeah, yeah. It's a, be- it's a great game. Are you a comic guy? Uh, yeah, more of a comic guy. Which oh. one? Marvel, DC, yeah. Image, yeah. The Others. Okay, all right. Who's your fave of all? Of all the comics? Of all the heroes. Of, of all the, the heroes? heroes? Yeah. I guess Batman. Yeah, Batman. Mm. Let's say someone has never read comic books, like myself. What would you say to convince them that it's a good medium that they should start getting into? See, I feel like I've, I'm asked this question a lot, okay. and I never know what to say. <laughs> okay. I'm yeah. like, I was, hey, do you know? Do you like Batman? Here's a ba- here's like a million Batman books. Literally <laughs> okay. grab a random one and take it from there because uh, comics are a little impenetrable for like new readers. There's kind of a lot of work that you gotta do to like huh. understand what's going on. Um, okay. Yeah. So maybe be raised with comic books. Is the <laughs> well, yeah. I was going to say, you probably grew up reading yeah, them. Yeah. I grew up reading them, watching the cartoons, the movies. Mm. And there's like a nostalgia element. Mm. Yeah. To it. And now it's like the most popular thing in the world. Isn't it so. funny, man? When they put out <laughs> Sandman, I was like, this was some dork shit when I was growing up. Mm-hmm. Like the fact that we know what that. I keep waiting. You know who I'm waiting for? The Beyonder. Remember the Beyonder? He's very powerful. Where, His where power is he? is beyond I want, anything. Uh, there you go. Is I want vegan? the Beyonder to come in. He's not a vegan. <laughs> okay. He'll eat anything. I mean, Whoa. any. I feel like they could make him a vegan. Yeah, like, he could be he a vegan. He could come into the MCU and that could be their take on yeah, him. Yeah. <laughs> He's the one vegan superhero. Yeah. But he might be boring because he's too powerful. Sometimes if they're too powerful, right. it's not really interesting. you got to have some flaws. Mm-hmm. You know, I did these Batman videos. You ever see Batman? I have seen yeah, them. That's yeah, 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 that, that, yeah. that was you. That was I was. I was trying to remember. Like, I know that you no, have that podcast. I remember that. It's for fun. It's for fun or die, right? Well, oh, yeah. Also, may, may I ask, what podcast is this? This what is called a podcast, but outside. Ah, that's what this is, yeah. Oh, I haven't heard of it before. No, yeah, here that, it is. But that's okay. cool. That's, that's, the, that's the goal. Out. We want people to not know anything about it. Oh, yeah, so cool. how long... So you're from Mexico. How long have you lived here? Uh, I've lived in the U.S. for about 17 years okay. now. Mm. Um, I lived in San Francisco for about a decade, and then I moved out here. So you, your parents brought you here? You came uh, here? Yeah, my mom did. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you live with your parents right now? Uh, no, I live... Uh, on my own apartment in Glendale. Ooh. How, how old yeah. were you when you moved here? 13. How was that transition? It was pretty good. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, overall, I mean, I think I managed okay because I like I grew up with a lot of like American culture. So okay. like, watching things in English. Like, I like movies a lot, so I watch things in English right. uh, yeah. and stuff. So question, yeah. would it be possible for me to like walk away and come right back? Because I realized I'm not starting work soon, but I do have like the keys to open oh, up. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I got to yeah, go sure. drop that up I'm for back. them or they're yeah, going to be, be upset. All good. Uh, but I'll be... I'll can I'll I, right can I just say this, yes. Alfredo? Mm-hmm. We've done this show for three and a half years. Mm-hmm. No one has ever come back. <laughs> so we will see, I'll, we'll come, see what I'll come right back. We'll see what happens, but I just have to say. <laughs> no <laughs> one's ever come no back. No one has ever come back. If you come oh, back, you'll, wow. be you'll be wow, the first. Wow, that's okay. So that's I will pay you in advance just in case. Oh, my God, a dollar. It's There's the, your dollar. It's, <laughs> it's typically people who walk by and, and don't sit mm-hmm. down and say, I'll be right back. But I, but it's true, Cole. No one, mm-hmm. no one has. Okay, every well, episode, people say I, they will come I'll, back. I'll, I'll, it's, there's a 90% possibility <laughs> okay. I'll come back. Okay. Okay. There we go. You do you, though, man. If you get caught up over there. Also, no pressure yeah it's all, all good right, it's all good go. oh. nice to meet you see you all the time nice brother. You. All, yeah. the time. all the time all the time and also with you we uh, still don't know <laughs> uh, now i don't know how to do it <laughs> and also it. with you wait fuck this is fun when are we gonna hey, see it? sometimes i'm overwhelmed fun. with that feeling like you'll never i mean unless he comes back 
never talk to that guy again. But it, it's like a way to remember just how vital and, and precious life is. It is. Like you're on a plane, I always want to go like, yeah, yeah. we're sitting next to each yeah, other yeah. for like seven hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then never again. And then they get up and move. Yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> like, this guy's crazy. But I'm the co-pilot. We, we see I'm talking oh, to the pilot. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I was flying the plane. <laughs> That's a g- this guy's <laughs> rocking an Abercrombie and Fitch shirt. Oh, I don't know about heck that. yeah. I don't know about that. Yeah, there, they, there was a documentary about it. It was pretty I interesting. I did. Yeah, it was yeah. okay. It was they milked it. Yeah. Hey, how are you guys? Hey, guys. Love we it. don't want anything. It's just a podcast. You yeah, be think, on yeah, I think people do think sometimes we want something. Yeah, we don't want anything. We don't want anything. We don't want anything is a good open. We don't, we don't want, want anything. anything. Just if you want to talk on a podcast. But yeah, it is interesting that the the people that come into your lives in different ways. And yeah. like on this show, we'll often have people and then they'll like reach out and be like, oh, we should collab on something or blah, blah. blah. And it's like, we have to do this every week. We meet five people. Like we have to move on to the next. What I found hey guys, how are you? This is a podcast. If you want to be on a podcast just for 30 seconds or longer. Yeah. Have a seat. You can sit there, sit there. Yeah, come have a seat. Yeah, come on in. What's up, man? What's your name? Mac, how you doing? Mac, nice to meet you. I'm Pete. Always. Uh, Day. Day. And Day. You guys aren't musicians, are you? We are. Are are. you really? We happen to be, yes, sir. In hip hop? Absolutely. Yes, sir. Is it a group or just uh, individuals? So, I mean, we're, you know, individuals, but we're also, uh, I'm also a part of a hip hop collective. We're all out here right now, actually, called Blue Way Poetics. And, you know, we're from uh, Rhode Island. No way. Rhode Island. I'm from Boston. Get out. Yeah, that's crazy. So, yeah, you know, uh, we've been doing our thing for about five years now. No way. Yeah. That's oh. awesome. Yeah, That's so yeah. cool. Max, Max been working for years, so you know what I'm saying? So okay. Yeah, right sir. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Max, wait, so what, cool, do, what, do you guys, <laughs> what do you guys here in L.A. for? Uh, it's more like vacation you know, type, you know. Oh, uh-huh. you're, just, you're just here for a little while. Vacay network, and I used to live out here, but now I'm in Vegas, and then, you know, these are my guys. Everything that they do, I support and just try to help out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's a little bit of business and pleasure, a little bit right. of both. That's great. Where's the best place to network here? Um, a little, a little shows, bit, of, right? yeah, a little bit of everywhere. You know, I just it's L.A. So you know, no you matter where know. you at, you you might just run into somebody and build a connection. You know, kind of like I'm, us. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like this. Well, we're comedians. Right. There's a lot of overlap for real between music and comedy, and you never know who you might yeah. meet doing a show, going to a show, just watching a show. I definitely agree. I actually. Do the sound and lights over at Brad Garrett's Comedy Club in the MGM in Las oh, Vegas. Oh, in Vegas, yeah. So I'm, I'm, de- I'm definitely familiar. Comedy to me is probably the hardest, difficult job in the industry. It's similar to hip hop. Yeah. I'm not just saying that. Like you need those punchlines, yeah. right? You got and you got to yeah. sit on the punchline and close with it. We call it close. Mm. But if you're, especially if you're, uh, you know, battling somebody, yeah. you got to wait for the good one for the end. And that's what we do too. That's what comics do as well. But see, well. you know what? It's even more difficult. And I got, I got to give you guys the praise and all the stand-up comics in the game, because it's like, when you do music, people are coming there and they're expecting to hear certain songs they're already familiar that's with. That's right. If you see a new comic, you, you don't know what they're gonna, or what type of material, yes. and they expect you to be funny because if they're paying money. And if they're coming to see you, they don't want to hear the same, the stuff. same, st- <laughs> or that part. Yeah. <laughs> but if Absolutely. I came to see you, I want. What is your biggest track? Day what is one. the one we should so, check out? Uh, right now, I got this record called uh, Trajectory with my man Sean Lib. Uh, it's a you know really, really hard track off of my last EP that dropped, produced by Jamar Johnson from Lynn, Massachusetts, actually. Lynn, Lynn, yeah. City of Sin. Yeah, so Lynn, they got a real dope movement out there, and you know, we were able to connect and make like a I New actually, England type of union. Yes. You know? Sorry to interrupt. One of the few lyricists I know from Massachusetts, from Lynn. Isn't SD that Nat? crazy? No, no, uh, it, it, uh, it, it, I won't even say his name uh, if he's not doing it anymore. I don't where, where? embarrass but him. No, they got, you know, they're doing their thing right I, now, and there's I, some I, real talented people out there. Yeah, I believe it. I have a couple quick questions. Are any up? of the songs that you're proud of, like, could we play them w- without copyright infringement? Or are they, like, on a major label kind of thing? No, no, no. They're all independent. Can we play a song? Yeah, what, sure. What should we play? What, what would you recommend? Uh, play that trajectory joint. Uh, how do I search? Is it on Spotify? Yeah, on Spotify. I search trajectory, and then what and do I then, say, uh, say after that? Type in Day Android, so that'd be D-A-Y-A-N-D-R-A-D-E. Uh, oh, I see. Trajectory by Sean Lib and Day Andre. Featuring okay. Sean Lib. Featuring Sean Lib. So we, okay, I'm... I'm excited. That's what's up. Podcast, but outside. I'm right. right. We're out here. Uh, outside, my friend. Shout out to Kyle right there. Brown Zoo Cop. Brothel. This is you? Uh, this is my man. Oh, this is Sean Lib right here. Oh, okay. I'm on the second verse.
public on the vest. Equity and cash better than the rest. Flex on apologetics, sweat, blood, and tears. Digging in the flesh, digging in the craze. Move state to state. That's Rip, good, man. Nigga, Bernie Gates. Sold out days. Kobe State plays. Knees on quake. Told the world to wait. Were you involved in this too? Not this one, but this, this is probably my favorite song on the project, and we're actually shooting the video for it uh, during this trip, so I'll be directing and editing. No well. way! Good yeah. for you. That's awesome. We gotta get. Oh, is this you? Is this you? Me, right? I heard that. Is this you? Uh, nah, so I'm about to come up right now after this. Yeah. And when no one cares, that shit is rough. Like you know what I'm saying? So. What you do if you had a dream, make it as me. Don't you could fail, living by the beach with the palm trees in the same reach. If you couldn't tell, then the roof and I'm with the females. You can see the proof in the details. Got a job selling that retail, just trying to make this thing real. I was in that school working two studios in my zone. Then we made this shit tangible. Now I'm tipping them scales and I'm ripping them down. Right to pieces, them leeches, they sucking themselves. Yeah. Put the finger, you can read back. Pull the trigger, you can detach. Mind from body, not spirit, cause I'm here to last. Saying, no, nice. Saying. That was yeah, you. I'm sorry. I keep yeah. asking. Oh yeah. But that's great. Awesome. You Appreciate got a really it. good quality to your voice. It's got a nice pitch and it's clear too. Thank you. I know that's maybe corny. That I think uh, sometimes I, I just like want, I want to hear the words. I want to yeah. hear what mm -hmm, they're saying. Mm -hmm. So I like Absolutely. and those were and that's what we're talking about. That's a good punchline with leeches sucking themselves. Yeah. <laughs> Makes me laugh. Yeah. Very funny. I love that. Good for you, man. Salute. We salute. got to check it out. Great work. I mean, we just checked. <laughs> we got everyone. Check it out. Everyone <laughs> listening should everyone check, check out the whole out. record. Is what I mean. Right. Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. Dope. That's awesome. Cool. And what is the name of your record so people can check it out? Uh, I have a record. I mean, I'm not. Or whatever. I'm not so whatever focused on the music. I'm more focused on the behind the scenes. But okay. if you did want to check it out, it's under International Mac under all the uh, digital streaming platforms, okay. Spotify, Apple Music, okay. Tidal. So you guys have like a New Hampshire crew, kind of, I'm, right? I'm from New York okay. originally. They're from Rhode Island. Okay. But we've all come together through mutual uh, family and whatnot in the past and up until now. Okay. And so it's like, you know, we, uh, like you said, we're, we work as individuals, but also as a collective. Yeah. So it's like, you know, it's it's a movement. Like Wu-Tang. Basically. Yeah, in, in, in a way. In a way. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's a group you're individuals but you can also be a group yeah absolutely you know right. we, we work together on almost everything like uh the other guys who are actually at back at the at the spot like you know what i'm saying we we in the studio every day because we actually own our own studio business out in rhode island that's great um and you know we, we've been engineering for people working with people for like two two and a half years now putting out other people's stuff yeah that's great so you're a producer as well yeah and who did the beat uh, the, that was Jamar Johnson from Lynn, Massachusetts. But I also produce and I engineer so. and mix and everything you like heard that. Too. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome, man. I think at, I think at this point we all kind of do everything. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. right. Well, we that's produce, what you got to do, direct. right? Yeah. So get I it. Kind of have to when you're independent. You know yes. what I mean? so. Get it. I'm excited for you guys. I lost my virginity in Providence. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's what's, <laughs> that's what's up. That's what's. You can go there. There's a plaque. Yeah, There's a plaque right. now. <laughs> that's a good segue. <laughs> that was fun. Where, where did you guys lose your, your virginity? Uh, right in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Oh, <laughs> right okay. in Pawtucket. I was in uh, Syracuse, New York. <laughs> Syracuse, New York. Yeah, okay, right. see, we got, a lot of people talk about age or where they were. How talk was about it? the city. How was it? Mine was terrible. Yeah, mine yeah, was real not, not the most not, memorable. No, 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 no. no, no. Yeah. Nowhere to go but up. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, right. Precisely. Set the bar real low. Uh, are you guys uh, dating anyone right now? So, uh, nah. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We out here. We out here moving. Uh, you know, Why we got put a label mind. on it? Yeah, right. Why right. put a label on it? That's what I'd be saying. Are we having I'm fun? Thinking. Are we being kind to each other? Yeah, yeah. I didn't say, are you in a relationship? I said, are you dating yeah, there you I'm go. I'm actively not in the game right now. I'll okay. say it like that. I'm out Got the it. game. Okay. okay. I'm definitely actively dating. <laughs> <laughs> I am also definitely single. Yeah, there you go. There you there go. There's nothing exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> Two camera. You know, Two camera. <laughs> Just for the record, ladies. Yes. Yeah. And you, you, know. live, you live in Vegas where lots of people travel to. I live to. in Vegas. I'm a Capricorn. <laughs> there uh, you go. Long walks on the beach. There you go. You know, that sort of thing. But yeah. And Tupac. What? What can what can someone expect if they go on a date with you? Um, good food, good absolutely food. good food, okay. good vibes. You know, I like to have fun, not take things too serious. Okay. You know, I'm getting a little older in life, so eventually I would want to be serious and settle sure, down. Sure. But you know, I think if it's That's meant check, to be, it's check, meant check. to be. Yeah. It's not. It's not check, right? check, check, right there. Yeah. Have you ever hit her heartbroken? 
Absolutely. Here comes Cole with the heat. Definitely have. Definitely yeah. have. And you know, you got to be real. You know, it can't be, can't always just be the heartbreaker. Yeah, you know? that's right. It's uh. like you got to put yourself out there and, you know, be able to accept what comes with the territory. Or means you were as taking well. a chance. You took a risk. P- Pete asked this earlier. Are you typically someone who breaks someone's heart or someone who gets their heart broken? What's the ratio there? I think after I got my heart broken, I became the person mm. to oh, break hearts. Who would end it? Because you got a little scared. Yeah, and I, I mean, it happens. And, yeah, and you know, I think um, that's not a healthy trait at all. So I think um, because maybe the women after that did not deserve that. Right. But I think I was just being young and toxic. Yeah. And, um, you know, yeah. I found a lot about myself, Man. especially after the pandemic. So I'm just trying to be a better person every day. You know? He's doing the so work, Mac. I'm doing the work. Mac. You know what I mean? He's in for something serious. He's a motherfucking Capricorn. <laughs> he lives in Vegas. He loves to eat. He doesn't take it too serious. He learns from his past mistakes. He risks his heart. He's willing to share. Where do people find you on Instagram? <laughs> find me on Instagram at I N T L M A C K. And um, all social media platforms, you know, I'm available <laughs> yes. you know, for topics and conversations. You know, hit me up. I'm, and I'm even though he's an international Mac, it doesn't mean he's macking internationally. No, okay. hey, hey. <laughs> but sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> but sometimes, that's a little verbatim sometimes. as well, too. But, you know, <laughs> he likes to have fun, too. Wow, Pete is the ultimate wingman. This is cool. It's a good role for you. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> I like it. <laughs> This is this is this is a good uh good chemistry right yeah, here. Yeah, I like, right. I like what you guys right. got going on. This is dope. Why Thank are you, you taking a break from from it? Are you focusing on your art, or is it just like you needed to hit pause? What do you mean on I, dating? I think he oh, meant dating. Oh man, it's just like you have people who who try to bring out the worst in you and really just get you out of character. So for me, I try to just be more laid back and and, and let shit happen. So yeah. I'm not really you're going I'm, not, I'm not looking for anything, you know what I'm saying? So but you're open to it, but yeah, you're not I'm looking. Open. Yeah, I'm not it's active in my participation in seeking women out and in DMs and shit, you know. Yes, yes. So, I don't you know. Well, then it's just going to come. Yeah, yeah, when it comes it comes. And Man, you guys are cool as fuck. Appreciate, <laughs> it. appreciate <laughs> it. Representing Rhode Island, the tiniest state. Yeah, the smallest that state. That state is small. It could fit in Max hat, Rhode Island. <laughs> <laughs> that is a small ass state, but it's where I lost my virginity. I can't stress this enough. Yeah. Because one small thing deserves another. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's yeah. funny that you could lose something in the smallest state. It's interesting. It's an interesting thought. That's you know? right. There's something there. Should be easy to find. We really appreciate you guys coming That's by and sitting down. Too, yeah, yeah. Good luck with the video shoot. Good luck with your trip in Los Angeles. You made one dollar. You made one dollar. That's fine. And we That's got paid for this. Yeah, 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 you yeah, got yeah. paid. You guys, that's real showbiz right there. That is real showbiz. <laughs> this is waiting. This is, is it Alfredo? Alfredo. 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 He's been Alfredo's waiting. Alfredo's been waiting, so he we came back. him back in. Uh, you guys right. take care. Enjoy your visit. Appreciate nice y'all, to meet man. You, man. Yeah. With my schedule and how I'm always on the go, remember? Uh-huh. I don't have a ton of time to do things I want to do, remember? Yeah. Like reading, remember? Uh-huh. That's why I love Audible. <gasps> Audible offers an incorrection of... <clears throat> Audible offers an incredible selection of audiobooks across every genre from bestsellers and new releases to celebrity memoirs, mysteries and thrillers, motivation, wellness, business and more. You'll discover exclusive Audible originals if you're lucky. <laughs> from top celebrities, renowned experts and exciting new voices in audio. As an Audible member, you can choose one title a month to keep from their entire catalog, including the latest bestsellers and new releases. I do Audible. It's easy for me to talk about. I've talked about it on the show before. I've been a member for a very long time. I download a book every month. I listen to it as a drive around car town in my car. Vroom, 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 driving, listening to Audible. And it feels like I've read a book. I've read so many Stephen King books, but if you ask me the truth, I never read a single one of them because Audible did it for me. All Audible members get access to a growing selection of audiobooks, Audible originals, and podcasts that are included with memberships. You can listen to all you want and more get added every month. That's great. I love more. Let Audible help you discover new ways to laugh, laugh. be inspired, or be you entertained. Do for, you, do, you do enter, I'll do tamed. Enter. Tain. New members can try it free for 30 days. Visit audible.com slash buttoutside or text buttoutside to 500-500. That's our phone, phone number. That's audible.com slash outside or text buttoutside to 500-500. To try to Audible free for 30 days. Audible.com slash buttoutside. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. There's lots of times in my life where I got stuck and I had some problems that I was trying to deal with. And also, you were physically stuck between two cars. That, right? I that, backed I backed that, into you. Yeah, I know, I know. That was a totally different thing. And th- this is more uh, mental. mental th- oh, that thing right. is more physical. Right, Which yeah. we did figure out. What? And it was awesome. It took like a day, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was so hungry. But this is more of a mental thing. And it can be tough to train your brain to stay in problem-solving mode when faced with a challenge in life. But when you learn how to find your own solutions, there's no better feeling, and a therapist can help you become a better problem solver, making it easier to accomplish your goals, no matter how big or small. That's what's cool about therapies. It's not like, 
a therapist is going to tell you, hey, this is what you need to do. A therapist is going to help you through your own brain come to the answers and the solutions that you needed to get to on your own, but you just need a little bit of help. Mm -hmm. It's not like a therapist is like making huge decisions for your life, but they help you talk through things to where you get to a point where it's, they're like inception style. Yeah. <laughs> they incept it into your head in a good way. I've been going to therapy for a long time. I really find it very beneficial. I think if you out there haven't been able to incorporate therapy into your life, it might be something that might really help you just kind of get to the next level. And if you're thinking about giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, accessible, affordable, and entirely online. Get, get matched, matched with, with a therapist. therapist after filling out a brief survey and switch therapists at any time. When you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com outside today to get 10% off your first month. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash outside. All right, Alfredo, you came back. Get in there, Against all odds. That's kind of like, if you're, if you're a couple dudes... Coming to LA. Yeah. Just to sort of see what happens. Could not better a situation. <laughs> <laughs> where you just sit down and are on it. Uh huh. Couldn't be better. We had basically the exact same conversation too, like 30 feet that way, maybe a year ago with those two right. hip hop producers. Yeah. Pr very, very similar. And they played their music and very similar. Um, hi, did you get did you get everything unlocked? Uh, yeah, everything should be fine. Uh, I was getting there and everybody was like freaking out, like, where are the keys? Oh, <laughs> where no. are the keys? Because really? they're like, the lock at the front door. You're good, you're good, you're good. You're good. You're all right. We love your outfit. Love your umbrella. Love yeah. your vibe. Zebra and cheetah. Yeah, I was getting texts that were like, hey, you were the last one here last night. Where are the keys? Where are the keys? And I just like showed up with them. Oh, man. Uh, so I stopped. And so, so maybe I shouldn't have stopped here for a sec to talk to mm. you guys. I but, think it's a, it all but worked I, out. I don't regret it. Uh, thanks for having me back. Are you, of course. are you worried that your job is on the line? Uh, no, not really. No. Have you ever been fired? No. No. Okay. I am like... Well, does this getting uh, and the pandemic doesn't count, right? No, it no. Count. no, okay, no. then no. Okay, that's oh. like getting laid off by God. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's not fired. Well, that's called dying. I think. <laughs> yeah, getting well. Yeah, that's that's fired. You're fired from life. Have you ever seen a ghost? Have I ever seen a ghost? Um, I've only ever seen uh, light bulbs like explode at like ironic moments. <laughs> explode? Ironic, ironic, ironic moments. moments? Yeah. What I'm talking, like when you need I'm, light? I'm, I'm talking about like, you know, <laughs> my, my like grandpa, <laughs> like, you know, he died and he left his home behind to like my mom and my aunts. And they were like there discussing what to do with it. And at some point, one of them said something along the lines, well, this isn't my dad's house anymore. And the light bulb like exploded Whoa. right after she said you know that. What? Oh, I like that. Good. <laughs> something, the same thing happened to me, actually, and my whole family. My grandpa died, and my we were all sitting around the table. And my aunt said, you know, sometimes I feel his presence with me. And like whenever like I start to like think of him, he plays with the lights. And on the word light, the light dims in front of us and just stays dim. This wasn't a light where you can like adjust the slide right. setting or anything. And we just all sit there in like silence. It was like a very like ironic moment. Ironic. Okay, moment. no teasing. Yeah. Iro <laughs> Actually, irony has become it's a difficult. new word. No, no, I know. It's <laughs> it's, 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 it means a whole other thing. <laughs> no, no, I understand. I was teasing. Now I feel bad for me giving you giving you art. <laughs> Everyone's talking. teasing everyone. <laughs> I. What about a psychic? You ever go to a psychic and they tell you something funky? No, I've had tarot readings. Does that count? Mm. Yeah, that counts. So I'm just looking for anything unexplainable right, right. that's happened to you. Anything unexplainable yeah, that's happened yeah. to me. Well, about, uh, okay, yeah. I grew. Okay, so I grew up in Mexico City. Right. Uh, that's. I mean, I'm wearing the shirt because today is Mexican Independence Day. Uh, oh. 15 de septiembre. Oh. Uh, yeah. Cool. So that's wearing that in celebration. And like one thing that happened to me once, uh, I went to, uh, there's this area in Mexico City called Xochimilco. Uh, well, there's like a lake and there's some boats called Sergeant Bilko? Xochimilco. <laughs> Xochimilco. I realized. Xochimilco. Yeah, I realized I've never said that like word while like speaking in English. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> so I'm like, how do you. There's yeah, no so easy way to so do that. Xochimilco. Yeah. That's why I'm like, yeah. that yeah. Latino. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, so it's like this lake and there's these boats called Trajineras and like you just kind of. People just go and have a good time on them because they're like big boats. Uh, and when I was a kid, I went with my class. Uh, and we were just kind of like, you know, I mean, we were like, we were just hanging out on the boat. And I found a big bag of white powder, like right underneath one of the tables. No. Yeah, like just a huge bag. And I'm like in fifth grade, so I'm like 11 or 12. And I was like, I don't, I don't know what this is. So I just like grabbed it and threw it right 
into the river. No. <laughs> this giant bag of white powder. And, and I was just, after that, I was thinking, like, you know, that probably wasn't what I thought it was. It was probably just, like, you know, sugar or anything. And then I think back, you know, many years later, and I'm yeah. like, oh, yeah, that was definitely, like, cocaine. Wow. Or something like Whoa. that there to, for someone to pick up or something. I don't know. That probably has an explanation, but I don't know what the someone explanation is. Someone listening to this podcast is like, that's why the drop was empty. <laughs> he says it in <laughs> Espanol. <laughs> when, I was in co- crazy. when I was in college, my next door neighbors... Um, were 100% drug dealers and and they were actually like pimps. It was and they would like come to my parties and like try to get like my like liberal arts college girls to like be prostitutes for them. It was crazy. No, <laughs> yes. really. They were like, come on, you having sex anyway? Like, why not get paid for it? They were like really insane. But they were like, I was friendly with them because they were the neighbors. But they were like, it was a very sketchy family. What a weird glimpse. It was I never knew weird. that was the pitch. But yeah, it was really interesting. And then anyway, you're having sex anyway. <laughs> why not do it with someone you've never met? <laughs> <laughs> who uh, might be dangerous. Yeah. yeah, and just make some money, and I'll take some of that money <laughs> because I convinced you at this party. <laughs> That's a very dark uh, thing. I got something for you, Pete, if you want. Ooh, Waterloo, yeah. summer berry, naturally you really flavored. You need another drink. Um, anyway, I one, one day, before. my friend and I were walking down the street. We saw a guy, like a really sketchy guy, leave their house, walk down the street, and then a bag of meth fell out of their pocket. Oh, no. And then they kept walking down the street. And then that bag of meth was just sitting there for like three days. And we kept looking at it like, there's the bag of meth. <sighs> and then we were like, should we call the police? But I also don't want to like call the police on my neighbors. Like it was very, I didn't know what to do, you know? And then my friend and I were going on like a weekend trip and we were like, okay, if by Monday that bag is still there, we're going to try. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> as, a, as a joke, really. As oh a joke. my God. But because we kept seeing it like day after day. We're like, all right, you know what? Yeah, it it's seems like it's be- for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If it's not even getting swept up, that's a gift from, <laughs> from yeah, God. Wait, so do you believe in stuff as Pete was going into the realm? Do you believe in things that are more than we can see and experience? Like, do you believe in unexplainable things overall? Or are you skeptical about it? You know, I don't know. I guess I'm skeptical mm-hmm. about it. But mm-hmm. I, I, you never want to say, you know, there's no way. Right. You know. Nunca uh, dice nunca. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's correct. All the time. Nunca digas nunca. Nunca yeah, digas yeah, was, nunca. Close, yeah. What okay. about you, Pete? Are you a ghost guy? Oh, por supuesto. <laughs> I, yeah, I was just telling somebody that when I go home, this is a really lame one, so just yeah. know. Uh-huh. But when I go home, and if I sleep in my childhood bed, which I don't do very often, but if I do, every time yeah. in the morning, my cat will jump up on the bed, and I'll feel a big cat, and I'll feel him curl up and, and sleep next to me, and like indent the bed and walk uh-huh. over and lay down. And uh, the cat's been dead for like 10 years. <laughs> really? Yeah. But every every time I go wow. home. Aww. So if it happened once, I'd be like, oh, it was a dream or whatever. Right. Every single time. I know. I wait for it. And I'm awake. And I go, if I lay still, Clem, his name is Clem, is going to wow. jump up on the bed. And he does. And, and uh, if I lay very still... I can observe the, the walking. Has your bed. wife ever experienced it too? Going home no, it's you? only ever no. been alone. I would wow. never subject my wife to staying to in my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> to ghost cat. To ghost cat. No, the, the scariest thing in my house is really is my parents' relationship. <laughs> 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 the, the ghost cat's got nothing <laughs> on Jay and Irina <laughs> just ha- sharing a meal. <laughs> uh, I, I prefer the cat 10 to 1. <laughs> Have you ever... Have you ever had an idea for a comic book? Um, I have. Uh, I've had ideas that I've thought, well, this could either be a comic or a script. Oh yeah. So, or like maybe if this doesn't work as like a, you know, I, I have like ideas that are for like, I don't know, television or something like that. Uh, yeah, but if yeah. it doesn't work out, I would be able to like repurpose it for a comic. If. Mm. Okay. Do you, what are your goals? Do you have some creative goals in life? You know, it used to be like just make be part of like the industry it's of comic so, books particularly uh, no more showbiz. like more like showbiz sh- showbiz, showbiz. 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 Um, yeah because i studied film mm. uh, oh, okay. and then when i was in grad school i studied screenwriting uh and now i'm just kind of like uh, trying to figure out anything just want to be happy I may yeah. 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 for okay. people listening in their car this isn't this isn't you that's what i always say <sighs> Cole, yeah, Colbert and Pete. Colbert, you took, you took my line. Um, okay, wait. So you're a big comic guy. Mm-hmm. I've had this idea for a superhero, but it's very half baked, and I'm wondering if you could maybe help me workshop. Sure. It. Okay. So it's a superhero. His name is uh, I don't know, like Captain Luck or something, and his superpower is just the power of luck. Oh. Uh, and that's all I got. <laughs> 
Okay. Um, that's full baked, brother. Well, well that's, <laughs> that's ready mean, to go. That, that's sort of similar to the Marvel character Domino. Domino, um, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Domino uh, just like brings good fortune. Yeah, kind of. Okay. Uh, she's just very lucky. Um, I and I think, and I think there's uh, some other characters that have some kind of spin on that. But, but like, any, what, what Captain Luck is he? Is there anything about his? Um, th- does he have like a secret identity or like uh, someone who is? Have you thought of any? You know, he's like never that? tried to hide his identity. Right, he just always works. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's always about to be like, my <laughs> name is. <laughs> some, some <laughs> a, bird, a bird flies by. <laughs> <laughs> really loud ambulance. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Just yeah. like that. Yeah. I have to say that luck is one of the least interesting uh-huh. elements. Yeah. So I hate your idea. Yeah. No, I just watched you don't that. Like luck. There was that movie Luck. It's an Apple movie. I don't mean to put it down, but I was watching it with my daughter. She's four. And I was like, I just don't like the concept really? of luck. Interesting. And I don't think I think it irks people. Because yeah. it reminds you how like random the right. world mm-hmm. can be. So and like how unfair it can be. Yeah. It's a tricky. Su- it's a tricky but area. Can, but there can almost be like a divine nature to luck in a weird way. You know. Oh no, I I don't. Th- that's also one of my problems with okay. it. Is I I don't see luck presupposes that we know what should happen to us. Mm. You know, and I was lucky and I got that. Mm-hmm. I prefer. A bad thing could be the best thing that happened to you. A bad thing sure. could be lucky. Oh, a breakup could I be see. lucky. Losing your job could be lucky. You're more big picture. And exactly. Mm-hmm. The Western concept of luck is very like, Immediate. I got a million dollars. I'm lucky. And, and I'm like, all right. And then you're Biff from Back to the Future 2 <laughs> living in a penthouse and you're miserable. But was it lucky? Mm. Aren't a lot of Eastern cultures really into luck too, though? Yeah, China. Yeah, believe, China's yeah. like really into luck. Hi, ladies. How, how are, are you? you? This is just a podcast. We're not soliciting anything. <laughs> just letting them know. Just letting you know. I mean, they wanted to be on. They yeah. wanted. Yeah, it. they definitely they wanted. They wanted a little time. <laughs> right. I, yeah, luck can be like like that kind of like what is that? Duis ex machina or whatever. Like a thing in a script that's like, yeah. oh, it's because of luck that it all worked out. Like it can be also, annoying. Also, it's like in yeah. Moana, the yeah. the ocean is mm. sort of luck and fortune, and mm. it's not a compelling mm. character to everybody. It's also like talking about a dream. Like my luck is interesting to me. Mm. Right. But right. It's not mm. interesting to you. Right. Yeah. So I, I don't mean to obviously shoot down your idea that's the challenge with yeah mm-hmm. yeah so yeah it sucks and domino <laughs> <laughs> and domino. also domino exists all mm-hmm. right well alfredo um i think we're gonna say goodbye all right because i think we're about to end it and these may- you guys want to say hi oh no they're coming are you the waiting stop. for the bus <laughs> are you getting on the bus oh you're going around you're i was going gonna around. say you, you don't look like bus <laughs> okay. ladies you, you still look think, like uber ladies you still think they want to be on the show <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting I a mean, real vibe. Weren't they technically? They were on the video. <laughs> they were on, they you were. could probably pick them up on the they audio a little bit. But that counts. For the listeners. Yeah, we got it. Uh-huh. Five, five, but five yeah, I, I can get going if you guys thank are you, Alfredo. wrapping we, up. We thank you, Alfredo. We appreciate you, you sitting down. Here's a sticker. Another sticker for you. We already thank gave you a dollar. Thank you. Fo- I followed you guys on Twitter. Oh, oh, thank there you. you go. Right. Right. I guess I'll, I can say, hey, maybe you follow me. Yeah. Twitter, at Alfredo Film Geek. Okay. Alfredo Film Geek. Who's your favorite director? Uh, uh, David Lynch. Oh, that's a David that's Lynch. Good. That's yeah. a good choice. Yeah. Great answer. Mm-hmm. I would have predicted Del Toro, but that's culturally he's, inappropriate. He's good, <laughs> I mean, that was it's very good. obvious. He's yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's good. Mm-hmm. Is Mexico very proud of him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. I'm proud of him. <laughs> and you can barely speak Spanish. <laughs> and I can barely speak Spanish. <laughs> but I did lose my virginity in Providence. That is true. How funny is it that I lost my virginity in a town called Providence? Whoa. Whoa. And now you it was an act of Providence. It was your Providence. Yeah, oh, that yeah. is your that and that is your Which lot is kind of like luck. Right. <laughs> All right. How ironic is I lost mine in Fuck City. <laughs> <laughs> Cole from the half <laughs> and I lost mine on Virgin Island. Ooh. That would be good. That would Did be you really? No. That would be awesome. No, no, no. no, no, no. I was I'm in Colorado. Sorry, I believed it. I was in Telluride, Colorado, where I grew up. Okay. And I got See chlamydia Alfredo. on fire. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right, Thank you. I like it. See Thank you, Alfredo. 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 Thank you. Have a good day, back. man. Thanks for coming back. Yeah, you were the first that came back. Yeah, it's true. It was really amazing. That's luck right there. That is luck right there. We'll wrap it up soon, but Pete, you're going on tour. 
we, yes. will, we will mention in the intro as well to pe- people to see on tour. But, <laughs> you're, but you're, pre, you're forecasting my displeasure. But no, that I it just, came we, up at we the haven't end. talked about it yet. You think anyone made it to this point? <laughs> they do. They, they do. will turn this off at the ambulance. <laughs> uh, no, 100% JK. I'm on tour probably, uh, if you hear this now, if you, <laughs> the only time you can hear this is now. Now, and then later eventually. But, but whenever, not before. No, but whenever they hear it, it's, it's, it's only now. now. Yeah, it's yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. If you're hearing this now, you're in. You're at the right spot for you. Just go yeah. to PeteHolmes.com. The tickets are available now. Uh, I'll try it. It's like Toronto, North Carolina, Seattle, Portland, Great. Boston, New Jersey, Chicago. Those are the ones I can Truly remember. a fantastic stand-up comedian. If you're not familiar with his work, you will be well you will be well laughed, be well well laughed by going be well to that show. Laughed. And if there you live in Los Angeles, he, he has a show every month at, at Largo. Um, That's true. It's him and guests, and it's always very fun. Oh, mm-hmm. and Andrew's done it. I have done it. Hey, how are you? Yeah, uh, and if you like the way Pete you looks. Wanna, you want to say hi? That guy's got a story. We You've got, got a story. Minutes. Oh, it's like the perfect guy. That, that dude <laughs> has a vibe. There's, that dude. There are certain that people. That dude saved a life. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. what that guy did. Yeah. Yeah. He saved Whoa. a life. And then Pete's got a podcast. Um, you made it weird. You made it weird. Great Where show. Ask, those are questions from You Made It Weird. Oh, I love your show. You okay? Ghost, psychic, uh, breakup ratio, preferred parent. Have you ever died? Pete, Almost died. Pete interviews uh, often very famous people, but has a very personal and. Um, I don't know, non show busy touch to it that I, I really appreciate. appreciate. Yeah, yeah, I like it a lot. It's, it's really genuine. Good. It's, slick. it's genuine. It's I just slick. I just you, complimented him on the um, the interview with Jason Alexander who played George Costanza on yeah. Psycho, which is a, just a really cool interview and as a fan of that show I think you handled that so well. It's, I appreciate it. Was that. Great. Yeah, yeah. B- because I'm off the socials I, I, I get my compliments per- IRL. Okay, IRL. Okay, good, good, so good. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. How is that woman's waist who went by? I don't even mean this to like <laughs> sexualize her. Her waist was the, s- you could put a lifesaver around her waist. That was the smallest waist I've ever seen. Like, it's just, look, you can see it. It's just a phenomenon. Yeah. I can't see it. It's so small. Yes, you can. Oh, the one with the stroller? No, in front On of the, the stroller. Oh. Look for a smaller oh, waist. Oh, yes, I do see. Yeah. Oh, that, oh, is, oh, that oh. is an insanely small I do waist. see what you this mean. This isn't even like a diet exercise no, thing. No, Just genetically it's speaking. Strange. Yeah. That God made someone like the number eight. This, this, yeah. Yeah. Cinched. They cinched. <laughs> they cinched a zero cinched. into an eight. She definitely oh. got cinched. But, she was cinched. But that could be a good thing at times. Yeah. People be trying to be cinched. How is your life off socials? I love it. I, I don't want to preach about it, but it really doesn't no, improve nice. my life. Yeah. You, can I say this? Yeah. Because yeah. I'd love to hear your take on this. Yeah. You know when you watch movies like One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. People are like, look, if they were handing out little cups of pills and it made everyone act crazy, <laughs> I wouldn't take them, right? Yeah. Everyone uh, goes, I yeah. wouldn't take them. Yeah. You're taking them, dude. Yes, yeah. I know. That's what social media is. But it, it's tricky because it's also like everyone else around you is taking the pills and they're like, these pills are amazing. You're yeah. going to love them. But like, everyone in lie. the hospital is taking the it's pills. A, that's, that's all that's a lie. part of it. But I do find that just psychologically interesting. Everyone thinks they're the outlier. Yes. But really you're yes. not. And I also think it's interesting that, that these industries keep win, like giving up. We give up uh, privacy or, yes. or, 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 or autonomy yeah. mm-hmm. for things we already had. Mm-hmm. We already had photos of our friends. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. already had music. Yeah. Like Alexa is uh, an insane invasion uh-huh. and we all and our phones are listening to us mm-hmm. and it's just to kind of give us stuff we already had. yeah <laughs> it's true that's but true. that's a bummer that being said i i do have instagram i just don't run it you don't run but it. if Someone you want to watch it. clips of me doing yeah, stand-up yeah, yeah. I, I welcome it it's pete holmes and i don't i i when i say this i don't look down on it i'll just be the older guy that's like you know you like therapy oh, yeah. is this forever it doesn't right. have to be and especially if you're single, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, it, I'd be on it if I was single. If I could quit it 100 percent and like know that I could do everything I needed to do career-wise and promotion-wise, like I would. But I just feel like I need. Well, to that's the use problem it. with this. Yeah, it this sucks. soapbox that I'm yeah. on is I pay someone you're still to doing do it, it for yes, me. Mm-hmm. Yes. So really, yeah. shut the fuck up, right? right. <laughs> like you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. I only eat organic or whatever. It's like okay, good for you. Yeah. The rest of us are shopping at Walmart. And yeah. That's fine. Yeah. But no, I do th- like. I do think if you're successful enough in your career where you can be at a point where you're not using it personally, like, yeah, that's the goal. I, okay, that is helpful, good hosting, because what I'm ri- really raging against is the people who could get could off Could get off it 100%. And yes. don't. And don't, mm-hmm. yes, yes. Like, that's real, that's if like If this how wasn't powerful. my career, I would be off it 100%. I yeah. would be like, this is not worth Me it. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Like our homeboy there. Yeah, yeah, The, yeah. the rapper that yeah. just wants to see yeah. if... Uh, r- love comes his way I have a friend Yoni who got off all the apps and he just kept it's almost like the gesture of deleting the apps yeah. made him start attracting mm. relationships oh I like that and do, you, and do you like that you're able to say I have a friend Yoni 
That's kind of a good. That's kind of a good. I'm phrase. friends with a Yoni. I'm friends with a guy named Yoni. That's kind of a good. It's a good I, position to be I've in. I've known Yoni so long, I forgot that Yoni means vajayjay. Well, no, it's just an interesting name. That's all. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just. Is it a given name or a, a self-given name? It's his name. It's, it's a Hebrew name. Oh, oh, oh of course. Yeah, yeah. Yoni Weinberg. Oh. He wrote on HBO's Crashing. Oh. Deal oh. with it. Deal with it. Which you can stream right now on which HBO Max. Which you can Max. stream right now and catch clips of it on my social. Oh, you do, clips? Do. You, do, you do clips of the show? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think we will because yeah. I'm proud of it, so we still promote it. Yeah, you it. should. We yeah. still promote yeah. it. we got to promote it. Anyway, I feel like I was a little too self-righteous with the with the social media. No, no, not no, at no, all. No, I, no, no, we no, 100% no. agree with it you. It is one of those things that everyone no, hates. Everyone hates it. Everyone hates it, but we're still taking the pills in the Have you done that on stage? Is that a bit you're working on? It's so self-righteous when I do it on stage. I'm really trying to find a way. Yeah, I hear you. To be like, I get it. And I've started checking my messages on there because uh-huh. you want to kind of podcast sponsors yeah, yeah. come through, yeah. uh, guests come yeah. through. Yeah. So there is an element to it. But like a- if you're looking at it every time you pee, every it's, time yeah, you poop, bad. every time there's an awkward lull, yeah. like what, what is to be said for liberty? Like right. your own personal liberty, not not to tell people about your liberty, just to have it. Yes, mm. I agree. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe the way to do the bit is like to be really like. I mean, I don't know. You're an incredible comedian, but like, really, kind of g- go in on the thing of like, you just gotta pay someone to like, like you really own well, the all fact you that you're do doing is it. Pay someone, <laughs> yeah. hundreds yeah, yeah. of dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, the, yeah, yeah. no, like, that is because then you're kind of a, drawing attention to the sanctimoniousness of but it. But that's. Or something. A, but why do you have to be a famous comedian, or or you know what I'm saying? Sure, like, sure. Why I do understand. you have to have been on TV shows to like just get back to like I know basic reality that is absurd yeah mm-hmm. it's, it's not really sad. fair but it's just yeah. because everyone's on it you know it's I like know. everyone's doing but it. but i also uh, now i'm going to talk out of the other side of my face there is something beautiful about it right there is something it's complicated. And that, that's the trick there, every cult had something that was great yes about it. and instagram does have hey, how this, are you? like connecting quality yeah, to it what's like that, that man it's just a good, good vibe both times so yeah i'm not i'm not 100 percent against it. it's interesting and, and it also probably i think it started more pure that's also part of it well, I agree. Yeah, Before it all sh- shifted. And by the way, in 10 years, we're just wrong. If we think in 10 years, the ads on YouTube, like they're just slowly cooking the frog. Uh-huh. Now mm-hmm. it's like one full ad and one skippable ad is uh-huh. normal. Uh-huh. Yeah. Before you know, when our yeah, kids yeah. grow up or whatever, and they're in 20, it's going to be TV. Right. It's going right. to be three minutes of commercials right. because that yes, will make yes, more money. So, yes. of course, that's what's going to happen. And the, and the dark part is like all these companies operate on a model where they're allowed to lose money for a long time to suck you in. That's like right. Even like Uber and Lyft, it's like they made it really cheap at first and lost money because yeah. they're like long term, we'll get them addicted to it and then that's they'll right. charge yeah, more. You're okay. You're good. You're good. Thank you. Yeah, it's all fucking dark. You um, do this in Minnesota, everyone will just walk by. Only yeah. in LA, they're like, am I <laughs> inadvertent background? <laughs> yeah, people go, s- people will like climb structures to get behind the camera sometimes. It's Hilarious. insane. Need Here's it. a dollar and a sticker oh, for you. Oh man, thanks. Thank you for being a guest. Thank you. Go see Pete on tour, fantastic comedian. Great see if friend. you can guess the serial number. A first dollar. letter? <laughs> a dollar? First letter? Six. A. I said letter, dude. <laughs> dude. You just ironic, Tim. I think they are. I think they are frozen. But thank you guys so much for watching or listening. Pete and Cole are in the middle of a thing. I don't know how to interpret it. Um, but please enjoy the rest of your day. And thank you for tuning in. See you guys. <laughs> <laughs> what a great episode. Yeah. I was feeling pretty sick the whole time. So it's great that we had a guest like Pete Holmes, who was so good at doing both of our your jobs. job. Well, both of our jobs. He was doing some funny stuff too. He was being a c- crazy, cool guy like you, which is your job. Yeah. You're a good actor. I don't think I could, uh, if I was ill, mm-hmm. I don't know if I could mask that. Oh, did it seem like I was not so ill? Yeah. I've been ill in a lot of our episodes. It's true. <laughs> Bowling alley, Bowling you were alley. puking? I was throwing up in the middle. Um, yeah, but hey, it was a fun episode. Go watch, go check out Pete on tour. Truly, if you've never seen him live, he's a, such a funny comedian. Check out his podcast. I listen to it a lot. You made it weird. He's got great, really good, really, really solid guests. And uh, he's a nice guy. Yeah. Come see us at the Bourbon Room, October 13th with Ted Nivison. Then we'll be in Honolulu. You heard all about it. All right. Um, see you guys next week. We're back with an episode next week. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Hey!
Cool shirt. Cool shirt, though. Can I wear it? 